I gotta give you a quick little warning, proceed with caution, because after you watch this video, you're gonna be dangerously excited for Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. If you're new, make sure to smash. You can always take the blue pill. Yep, that's Doctor Strange. You're probably oh wondering God. how he ended up in this situation. Well, with the sequel, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness almost upon us, we Yo, I didn't know! Oh my God! Bagamoto to recap the good Doctor's entire story in the MCU. From his solo movie to guest I'm appearances high. and his team up with the Avengers, here's Doctor Strange's story so far. You can take the blue pill, you can forget about it, or you take the red pill, and I'll show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Doctor. Mr. Doctor. It's strange. Maybe. Before he became the master of the mystic arts, Dr. Stephen Strange was a gifted yet arrogant neurosurgeon who pretty yep. much had it all. Money, acclaim, a former love interest in one Dr. Christine Paul. Honestly, man, Dr. Strange 1 is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a masterpiece, my guy. Google Horn players. Why do you store all this useless information? Useless? The man charted a top 10 hit with a fool horn. But unfortunately, he wasn't so good at keeping his eyes on the road. <laughs> yeah, maybe he should be in, uh... Fast and Furious 20. <laughs> Accident, you know what I mean? And cost him his entire career, which sent him into a downward spiral. Strange yeah. spent all of his money trying to fix himself and became so bitter that he pushed away the one person who truly cared about him. You care so much, don't you? Damn. Damn. Goodbye, Stephen. Yeah, and she peaced out, though. Nothing else to lose. Strange hears a, well, strange story where a paraplegic man by the name of Jonathan Pangborn miraculously regained the use of his legs. While skeptical, Strange takes Pangborn's tip and heads to Kamartage to seek the same treatment for himself. And that- The reason I really love this movie is because it talks about, hey, you can control your life, okay? If you're positive about your situation, you can change your outcome. And obviously it uh, also has a lot of theories. It uses a lot of real life theories about like astral projection, which I'm a massive fan of narrative done it but a lot of people claim to do it i'm not sure that's real but that you know what i mean the right people who will change the course of his life forever carl mordo and the ancient one for a guy asking for help, Strange is astonishingly condescending to the Ancient One when she tries to explain how Pangborn wasn't healed by practical medicine, but by reorienting his spirit to better heal his body. Strange mm. finally sees the yep. light when the Ancient One knocks his astral form out of his body and That's sends him on a mind-blowing tour of the universe. I really love when Marvel does stuff like that. In fact, they do that all the time for every single one of their movies. There's always like a real-life theory used in for these movies. Power and seeks her teachings as a student of the masters of the mystic arts. That's a mouthful. Strange learns that when sorcerers use magic, they're channeling the energy of the multiverse to create weapons, shields, and spells. He learns about opening portals with a sling ring and accessing a parallel dimension known as the mirror dimension. He meets Damn, Wong, dude. the librarian of Kamartaj, and devours every book he can snatch out of a portal. He discovers the eye of Agamotto and teaches himself Yo, to- Yo, I recently end up watching the entire series of Harry Potter and now like watching this video, I'm getting that Harry Potter vibe from the power of the time the, stone within. And for some he receives reason. lessons on magical weapons and combat from Mordo. There are many relics. The wand of a tomb, the vaulting boots of Valtor. Really just oh. roll off the tongue, don't they? Now what would he need combat training oh for? God. Well, it turns out a disgraced former student of the Ancient One named Caecilius is leading a group of zealots in an attempt to bring the ruler of the Dark Dimension to Earth, an all-powerful evil being named Dormammu. The New York Sanctum is attacked by Caecilius, and Strange barely escapes with his life. But hey, he gets a sentient magical flying cloak out of it. Yo, this was such a powerful scene, man. Eventually, there's a showdown full of twists of fate and revelations, like that the Ancient One was secretly drawing power from the Dark Dimension to unnaturally extend her life. And then, in the ensuing battle, Caecilius fatally wounds the Ancient One. Strange is unable to save her life, but they share one last moment together on the Astral Plane where Strange learns the most important lesson of his life. Now listen, man, I don't know if they will be able to top this. They will be able to top this, let's be real. I know I'm just contradicting myself 
myself, but still there's like, you know what I mean? Because the first movie is so good. Uh, obviously we have seen the trailers, the teasers, and we have seen, uh, people are claiming to have seen 20 minutes of first scene, and I've seen a little bit of it, and it does feel like that it's gonna be able to easily top this movie, but there's always that, you know what I mean? Like, is it really gonna, it's probably gonna, let's be real, we're talking Marvel like that, but, but you know what I mean, Arrogance right? and fear still keep you from learning the simplest and most significant lesson of all. Which is? It's not about you. Mm. Things go from bad to powerful, worse powerful line, man. Powerful line. Kong to see that Kaecilius and his followers killed Wong and destroyed the sanctum, opening a breach to the dark dimension. So, Strange unleashes the power of the Time Stone to hit the rewind button, reversing the destruction and bringing Wong back to life. But rather than fight Kaecilius again, Strange goes straight to his manager, flying into the dark dimension to face Dormammu head on. Dormammu. Dormammu, I come to bargain. <laughs> does over and over and over again. Yeah, how many times he did that? And Doctor Strange finally learns some humility and puts others over himself, choosing to sacrifice his life repeatedly until Dormammu finally accepts his bargain to leave in exchange for being released from the time loop. And he and takes anybody knows how many times he did that? I'm assuming like a couple a uh, couple hundred times, but he might have done like million times because after all we're talking strange. Backup dancers with him. The day is saved, but not without consequences. Though Mordo was an ally up until this point, he decides to leave the Masters of the Mystic Arts. Between his loss of faith in the Ancient One after learning her dark secret, and their own actions with the Time Stone that broke nature's <laughs> he believes there will be a price to pay for what they've done. The bill comes due. Oh my god. Always. <laughs> and when we catch up with old Pangborn, it turns out Mordo is <laughs> collect. Why are you doing this? Because I see at long last what's wrong with the world. Mm. He took his powers away, man. Damn, son. Can a brother perhaps not do that? Too many sorcerers. But things aren't all bad at the end of Strange's origin story. He takes up residence Damn, in the New York man. Sanctum and Diable, Diable. ways of the mystic arts. Next lesson, Infinity Stones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So basically, they're going to be combining all of the Doctor Strange story from other Marvel movies as well. So 2013, a year Master after. The Mystic Arts, you can leave that now. All right, wizard. But before we get back to those rainbow rocks, we've got to touch on Doctor Strange's cameo in Thor Ragnarok. When Thor and Loki return to Midgard in search of their father Odin, Doctor Strange kidnaps Loki and leaves his card behind for Thor to come pay him a visit. I got a question though. I actually watched the Loki TV series, but I haven't seen the WandaVision. Should, do you recommend, like, is it important to watch that before watching? The upcoming movie? Ye or nay? Ye or nay? to the God of Thunder, part of his job is to keep a watch list of beings who pose a threat to Earth. Given how Loki like tried to invade to. Earth with a Chitauri army, well, he certainly makes the list. Thor agrees to leave Earth with his adopted brother if Strange tells him Odin's location. And as we know, Doctor Strange loves a good bargain. So he returns Loki. I have been falling for 30 minutes! And sends them on. Damn, for 30 minutes? <laughs> Attachment to the material is detachment from 2018. the spirit. 2018. I'll tell the guys at the deli. Maybe they'll make you a metaphysical ham on right. For Doctor Strange's next adventure, he becomes a key player in a cosmic war where the fate of the very universe hangs in the balance. And he first finds out- Trivia question, how many possibilities he saw before the ending of Avengers Infinity War? I would say a million something. About it when the Hulk falls out of I don't remember. House. But do you? Do you? He's coming. Oh my god, he's coming. Oh my god. Dude, Thanos was a g great villain, man. He's been on a quest to round up the six great Infinity villain. Stones, including the one Strange wears around his neck. And now the Doctor must team up with the Avengers to stop him. Only Strange really, really doesn't like Tony Stark. What is your job exactly besides making balloon animals? Protecting your reality, douchebag. Then, when two of Thanos' enforcers- Damn, man, they really killed Iron Man? I mean, if they never killed Iron Man, it wouldn't be as powerful, right? So, I see why, and it, it makes for a great story, but damn, man, now the thought of never seeing him again. What if they bring Iron Man back? Because, uh, after all, we're talking Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, so maybe in another universe they can actually bring- They can. They might bring him back through that, but uh, it seems very unlikely, ...ends right? up getting abducted by but aliens. That's just a Lucky for him, Iron Man and Spider-Man stowed away, and and help save his life. But rather than go home, the heroes decide to take the fight to Thanos, with Strange making it abundantly clear where his priorities lie. All right, Stark. 
we go to him. But you have to understand, if it comes to saving you or the kid or the time stone, a time stone. I would not hesitate to let either of you die. The heroes. Damn, that was cold. That was cold. And together they make a plan to stop Thanos on his home planet Titan. Doctor Strange uses the time stone to glimpse numerous <laughs> alternate futures and see the possible outcomes. How many, How many did times? you see? Fourteen million six hundred five. Oh my god, yeah, that's true. And I was saying one million. I was saying one million. Damn, okay. How many did we win? One. One. With their trap yep. for Thanos set, yep. Doctor Strange greets the Mad Titan and learns his motivation for wanting to use the completed Infinity Gauntlet to erase half of all life in the universe out of existence with a snap. Not liking that one bit, the heroes spring into action and battle with Thanos. A battle they lose. Hard. Only if Peter didn't do this, we already would have won the fight. But obviously it's the movie, it wouldn't been it would have been as good if he uh, Because you know someone I mean? had to go and get emotional. For what it's worth, yeah. Doctor Strange does hold his own Damn Peter, come on man, come on, Quill. Come in the time since his first movie. Yeah, only but if Strange is knocked out, and it all comes down to Iron Man versus Thanos. Tony never stood a chance, and when Thanos goes to finish him off, Doctor Strange makes a shocking and baffling move. Despite his earlier proclamation and clear distaste for Tony, he surrenders the Time Stone in exchange for his life, giving yeah because of the prophecy wanted before he teleports to Earth to claim the final stone. What the f Doctor Strange? Yeah. We're in the end game now. Oh, right. He had to set up the sequel and Famous tease lines. the title. Famous Remember, lines. Doctor Strange saw the one future where the heroes beat Thanos, and in order for them to win, they had to first lose. So, Thanos succeeds in snapping half of the universe out of existence. Dude, there were so many memes made off of that Thanos face. I, I, I'm, I'm imagining that in my mind. Including Doctor Strange. And so, he's nothing more than dust in the wind until Avengers Endgame. The prophecy was true. <laughs> the next Avengers movie is the climax of the Infinity Saga, but Doctor Strange doesn't reappear until the finale. While he was gone along with the other dearly dusted, the surviving heroes killed Thanos after learning he destroyed the Infinity Stones. Five years passed, Tony Stark invented time travel so the heroes could get the stones back, and Professor Hulk snapped everyone back to life. Hulk needed a little bit of protein. He needed a little bit of protein and then he would have been able to. He still was, but I mean. Only, it's not quite a happy. But he needed a little bit of protein. Thanos you know? from 2014 caught wind of their plan and he brought an army with him to the present to make sure the actions of his future self are not oh undone. And just when it looked like the Avengers had lost, familiar sparkling portals appear and out of them pour all of the resurrected heroes, including Doctor Strange, his fellow sorcerers from Kamartage, and warriors from across the universe ready to take down. And this was probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest, piece of cinema history, honestly. Thanks. We've never seen a scene this magnificent ever. We had so many actors, so many people on this scene, right? Assemble. The most epic battle yep. to end all epic battles ensues, and Tony Stark reunites with Doctor Strange on the battlefield, reminding us that there is a version of this that ends in victory. But pesky rules of time travel force Strange to keep quiet on just how. Hey, you said one out of 14 million we win, yeah? Tell me this is it. If I tell I'm you what happens, it won't, it won't happen. happen. Yeah. Classic, classic. You better be right. Oh, he's right, but you're not gonna like how it all plays out, Tony. Eventually, yeah. Thanos gets hold of the gauntlet and is poised Damn. to snap again. That's when Strange reminds Tony- So you're telling me that there wasn't another possibility where we still win, but Tony lives? I mean, damn, that's crazy. Only, only one, one, right? one way the plan will succeed. For Tony only to one. sacrifice his life to save everyone he loves. China number one! The stone's back in the nick of time, snaps Thanos out of existence, okay. and the founding hero of the MCU passes away. You know I had to do it, man. You know I had to do it. Heroes, and though they didn't always get along, the respect of Doctor Strange. I am the Watcher. Okay, I have not seen What If. I am your guy. I've only seen local realities. 
Yeah, the I've only seen Loki. It may have been the end for some Marvel heroes, but the Phase 4 animated series What If proves that things are just getting started for Doctor Strange. Uatu the Watcher tells the story of an alternate universe where Stephen Strange didn't lose his hands in the car accident, but the love of his life, fellow Doctor Ooh, Christine Palmer. God. Heartbroken and consumed by grief, Strange goes on a familiar journey in search of a way to reverse fate, leading him to become a master of the mystic arts. Only this oh time, God. he abuses his power and tries everything from time travel to consuming the essence of magical creatures to get her back. But nothing works. No matter what he does, Christine always dies. He learns that her death is an absolute point in time that cannot be undone. Other in in the, the upcoming movie, Multiverse of Madness, I think he's definitely going to try to go back in time to um, meet, with her, meet with her, maybe even marry her. I think he would never learn the mystic arts happen. and create a paradox that destroys the universe. Men will literally rather risk all of existence instead of going to therapy. Eventually, an alternate version of himself, a good Doctor Strange who had accepted Christine's death, intervenes. Like, same universe, different timeline. Keep up. But bad Doctor Strange devours good Doctor Strange too. I can keep up, man. him enough power to break the absolute point. Only, it backfires in the worst possible way. The universe collapses around him due to the paradox, and though he survives by creating a protective pocket dimension, Christine is disgusted by the monster he's become and fades from existence, leaving this all-powerful, strange supreme devastated, alone, and full of regret. But that's not the last we see of him. Owatu tells of another universe where Ultron beat the Avengers, collected the Infinity Stones, and became so powerful that he gained multiversal awareness. I see you. <laughs> In the middle of telling this story, Ultron bursts through reality and attacks the Watcher. He broke into the narrator's house. Uatu was unable to beat Ultron, and so he assembled the Guardians Dude, of the I'm Multiverse to the take him down, movie. with the supremely powerful Strange Supreme at the head of the team, naturally. Together, they succeed in stopping Ultron and Killmonger after he makes a grab at the Infinity Stones. Strange and Uatu seal them away in a Dude, pocket. Dude, it's kind of sad that uh, the actor of... Uh, uh, Black Panther passed away, man. Damn, and Strange bro. pledges to watch over them. We're gonna be having Black Panther 2 as well, right? But down a dark path, this episode shows there may be some good in him yet. I'm really sorry to bother you, sir, but... Please, save to have the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, yeah. uh, Steven. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. Now, mm. going back to our Doctor Strange in the MCU timeline, that was the things last go time, awry right? when Spider-Man asks him to make the world forget his no longer secret identity. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. Aw, oh, damn, son. What the? Yeah, Spider-Man was really good. If you have not seen it, watch that before. So he rushes into casting a spell, which Peter immediately messes up, resulting in a multiversal mashup of Spider-Man villains. Strange and Peter have a disagreement on how to settle the matter, oh and Strange gets hung out to dry while Peter takes his villains to therapy. Yeah, man. The, yeah. the hormones, they make you do crazy stuff, man. That crazy doesn't quite stuff. work out. I blame the... I don't blame Peter, man. I blame the hormones. It's because this is why he did that. By two more Peters from alternate universes to put a stop to the villains and send them back to where they belong. But yeah. it's never that... Yeah, great movie, Thanks to man. Green Goblin great doing movie. Green Goblin things, the multiverse begins to tear open, leaving Peter to make the ultimate sacrifice. And so, Doctor Strange casts a spell to make everyone, like everyone, forget about Peter Parker, which finally repairs the multiverse. Every night. And now he talks the same multiverse. Dream. As you can tell, Doctor Strange has been messing around with the fabric oh of reality God. a lot. And he's about to find out what happens when that fabric starts to tear. As we head into his next solo movie, it seems like all this defiance of the laws of nature will come back to bite him in the cape. We'll see the return of Mordo, Strange Supreme. Did he say in the cake? Team and the newly minted Spider Man Witch. The meet the multiverse hop in Miss America and watch Doctor Strange get pulled kicking and screaming into the multiverse of madness. My guy, I'm actually really excited for this one. Let me know your thoughts. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there.